Have you ever heard the old saying, where there's smoke, there's fire? You know, I say that because I want you to look at this picture right here that comes up right now. You see that? That's Alex Jones. That is Nick Fuentes. And then off next to Nick Fuentes is Ali Alexander. But we want to focus on Nick Fuentes and Alex Jones. Why? Because uh, Brandon Biggs made a video there with Alex Jones. And why, if you are so much hearing from God, you're claiming that you're so connected to God and you're having all of these visions and dreams and getting these words from God, why are you hanging out with conspiracy people? Why are you hanging out with white nationalists? So that's the question. Is Brandon Biggs a white nationalist, Christian nationalist? Does he believe in segregation? Does he believe in some of the things that these people believe? And if you don't know anything about Nick Fuentes, many of you that's followed me for a while, you know who Nick Fuentes is. But for those of you who are new, Nick Fuentes is, I mean, he's a young kid that is uh, what you would call a young white nationalist that has, you know, he's been kicked off of every major platform for all of his crazy talk. Uh, he can't stand Jewish people. He can't stand any type of, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, he believes in segregation. He believes in Christian nationalism to where he wants a theocracy and feels like, you know, he wants to force it down people's throat. But look at a few of these clips. This is for some of you that are new and that's a refresher for those of you that's been around. But listen to some of the things that he talks about. And so you can see who Nick Fuentes is. Pick your first family. Would you like a woman president? I, I want a female president with a black son-in-law and some manlet, bald, cuck husband versus the God Emperor of mankind and the son, Alexander. You take your pick. You tell me which one you'd prefer. Is it a little bit racist? Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. She openly loves her husband, Joshua Jackson. I loves me some Joshua Jackson. He my partner, he my man, he my husband, he a good father, he a good daddy to the children. Really? This is the first family? What a fucking nightmare. American dream, how about American nightmare? <laughs> He a good father to the children and um um uh he like uh he a good father he dead for the children That's your first family walking their two gay dogs Rena started dating her now husband in 2018 while celebrating that this is so oh my gosh do not clip this I'm so embarrassed by how racist this is uh, Rena started dating her now husband in 2018 while celebrating their one year anniversary. She called him my constant light. Bad choice of words. My constant dark, constant, uh, constant shine. <laughs> no, you can't. Say, no, but you can't say that. You can't call him shines. You can't call him shines anymore. <laughs> He's my constant light. <laughs> Joking about there. No, but you can't say that. No, but I didn't. You can't say that. Listen, I'm not going to lie. You know, sometimes you see some black girls out there. You know, black girls can be kind of bad. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. I don't, you know, I know. I know it's some popular opinion around here, but uh, I'm against race mixing. I would never do that. I would never do that. But um, not going to lie. The, there's something about I'm not going to lie. There's something about it. Black girls can be kind of bad. I saw Nicholas J. Fuentes is going to be the future president of the United States. <laughs> And as you can see with the clips, there's several clips there, and especially the one where he's making fun of back there of Nikki Haley's, uh, uh, her, her son-in-law and things, and some of the things that Nick is, is saying. And this is who Alex Jones, and they were there because the Alex, Al, Ali Alexander, he's the main guy that got this stop the steal rally going. So that's another thing for Brandon Biggs. Is he an election denier? 
Is he one of the ones that believe that Trump is anointed by God to save America? Like a lot of these people think. And like I made the video where I said Christians need to reject Trump. It's because he's just using whoever he can. And you guys are using each other and things like that. And it's like they're depending on some man of this world to focus on the kingdom of this world to try to force Christianity down people's throats. And why? Why is Brandon Biggs having platforms with Alex Jones? And then, of course, we talked about him with Bo Panani, the fake financial advisor that he was, you know, that gives these prophecies of lies and talk about gold, silver, and all of these various things and have your money all messed up listening to this guy. And as we talked about in a video where he, right along with the conspiracies, that God told this, that, or that, that Trump would be installed as president back in 2022. All right, about to be blessed beyond measure. We are here. Dark. We're going to go dark. And when the lights come on, worldwide celebrations are coming. We are going to see the return this year. 45 comes back. Not by his will, but by God's will. God's will shall be done. God gets all the glory. God bless you. They we started right after the election in 2020, these conspiracy people, because uh, they, they moved the date. It was like March, and then it was June, and then it moved over to 2022, was supposed to be the big year. And that's and Alex Jones, we already know, he, you know, the trouble he's found himself in talking crazy and conspiracies and lying and things like that. So the question is, how connected, how connected to God is Brandon Biggs? How connected to him? It, it, it's, it's a question because if he's so I if he's connected to God in the way that he tries to portray and things. God will be rebuking him, be rebuking him for bearing false witness, what, uh, lying in his name, sitting there, uh, 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 associating with the wicked and things like that. There'll be a whole lot of things going on that the Lord would have to say to him. But you notice these so-called prophets that identify themselves as prophets and things like that, they've got a word for everybody else but themselves. You ever notice that? It's for everybody else. Everyone else is wicked. Everybody else is not doing something right. But they're the ones doing it all right. They're the ones following the orders of everything, uh, 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 and living their life to perfection, basically, is what's going on. So that's the question. That's something for some of you guys to think about. How connected is he really when you're hanging out and associating yourself with these this, these few people that we're talking about and, and and we don't we won't get into some of the others but we want to focus on because I, as i was driving and i was thinking i said why why would he be attached to how a true christian why would you be with some right wing i mean white nationalist that's way out there in the conspiracies and 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 then friends with the Nick Fuentes's and, and the, all of them all associate together, pushing the big lie. As I said in my previous video, that no demon, hear me closely once again, no demon in hell can stop God's plan. So for people to continue to set up and say and listen to lying Trump, where he said, you know, continues to push this lie about stuff stolen, blah, blah, blah. All of these people claiming that the Lord told them that he was going to be president and all this and that. No demon in hell can stop God's plan. If God wanted Trump to be president back in 2020 during that election, it would have happened and nobody can stop it. And that goes for the same for me and you. If God has got something for us, no demon in hell can stop it. If he has a job offer or something or a job for you or promotion or whatever, no demon in hell can stop it. If he has plans on healing your body and, and making you whole, guess what? No demon can stop it. If he's got a blessing around the corner financially and you, 
and you just don't know how it's going to happen, but he's got it in his plan to make it happen, guess what? No demon can stop it. So don't get caught up listening to these people giving you the okie doke. These frauds think they're slick, and we are on them, onto them on this channel. That's what we do. We shine the spotlight on the devil, take them head on, punch them right in between the chops. Evangelism for God is the channel. My name is Maurice Braxton, where we talk about issues the church run away from. So until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.